Good evening ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Um, wanted to start off again by saying thank you very much for following and subscribing on my YouTube channel. Um, had some great feedback, some really nice comments. Um, a lot about the old beard which was quite interesting. I think um, Chiefs is a scrub said I uh, could look like Eric Weddle if I dyed it, which I guess is a compliment. I think I've got more of a sort of Prince Harry's homeless brother kind of thing going on. But um, that's not why I'm here. Here to hopefully do just a very short video um, to do with the new update, uh, all the winter promo stuff, which at first glance I was really excited about, and I don't know, I had a little look, and because I was really excited about the Bo Jackson, I clicked on it, clicked on his card, I thought that is a nice looking card, stats, you see 100 instantly, you're like, ooh, this looks pretty good. The plus two trucking had me slightly worried, um, and then I looked at what you've got to get to get him and it looks a bloody lot so you need four elite ghost players you need the bow achievement collectible um, 10 elite frozen players 10 gold frozen players and 10 frozen team logos now I don't know what that would equate to coin wise but I have a sneaky feeling it'd be a hell of a lot um, I mean you can pick up uh, Barry Sanders at the moment for about about one and a half million um, which I know is is still an awful lot, but I think the Bo Jackson to, to get all those unless you're really good at sniping that is going to set you back a pretty penny. What I thought might be um, useful to some people is to do a quick little comparison between Bo Jackson, the Emmett Smith you can get through the league um, achievement, and the Barry Sanders. Now I unfortunately don't have any of those players. <laughs> which is I'm, I'm working very hard on the edit at the moment um, but what I did is I went to uh, mutthead.com and on there you can do um, a comparison tool between uh, a few players so what I have got and I'll show you in a second is a comparison between those three and we'll find out who is the best halfback in the game okay here we go guys so I'm in Mutthead and I've got Emmett Smith on the left Bo Jackson middle Barry Sanders to the right so anything in green, that player is better. Anything in red, they're worse. Obvs. So Barry Sanders, you can pretty much see straight away, he's not looking good for old for old Bazza. So I think we'll we'll can we'll can old Barry. I think he's out of the equation. Looking at Emmett and Bo, there's a little there's a few greens, few few reds, but we'll we'll go through it. So Emmett's obviously one slower, not a big deal. If you've got somebody like Sammy Watkins, maybe the Odell Beckham game changer that add two speed, you're pushing Emmett up to a 98, so there's, there's not much in it there. Um, strength is the big one where he looks a lot weaker. Um, Bo's got three on him, but if you've got, let's say, the Rob Gronkowski domination player that adds five, so that'll take your Emmett up to 92. Um, Larry Fitzgerald adds two. That's 94. Um, who else have we got? If you happen to have Brian Dawkins, that adds another two. Boy or two now. 96. I got that right. Um, Eric Berry adds two. Um, so then you're up to you're up to 98 strength. If if you've got those sort of boost players. Um, I mean I've also got Dante Whitner, which adds plus one strength. So there you go. I've got a 99 strength Emmett Smith. Don't need any any more than that. Um, agility, Emmett's way better. Acceleration, only one it, not worth worrying about. Awareness is already 99 um, over bow. I know you can get the the boost would bring bow in line. Um, minus 11 catch. Um, so obviously out the backfield, Emmett's going to be a much safer bet. Again, if you've got a few um, sort of boost players that add catch, you you can boost that up a little bit. Jump isn't really going to come into it. Um, stamina and injury don't come into it. Right, the trucking. Now this is where I didn't really get it because they've given Bo a boost of two, but he's already at 100. So he's only going to boost maybe if you've got a, another halfback in your fullback position or, or your fullback. He's only going to add two to him. Your wide receivers, do you really do much trucking with them? Maybe, but not really worth going through all that expense of getting him for just an extra two trucking and Emmett's at 98 anyway so he's you know it seems a little weird 
Um, elusiveness, and it's better. Um, ball carrier vision, way better. Um, stiff arm, better. Spin moves, jukes. Carry, it's better at carrying. So, I, I mean, it's pretty comprehensive that Emmett is the better fullback, at, fullback. <laughs> better halfback in this game. What makes him also more appealing is he's free. All you've got to do is get yourself in a league, grind away, and it is, it is a horrible grind, and it, it will take you a while, but you can get him. If you just join a league, get enough people in, everybody contribute, you can all get him, and you get him for free. So you get the best halfback in the game, and you don't have to spend millions of coins, you don't have to open loads of pro packs. Um, I know if people are struggling to get him, one trick we're sort of doing in our league is we start uh, tournaments, have them only, I think each round lasts two hours, put it in for ten drives each, and have the setting down, I think really low, like, I, I don't actually sort of control that bit, so I think it's down to like amateur or something, and then everybody turns their counters off. So you can bomb, if you say call a fair catch at the five yard line, you've got 95 yards per drive and you'll always get it unless you fumble which hasn't happened to me yet so you get 95 yards per drive 10 drives 950 yards and that's just in one round in two hours obviously stamina comes into play but if you can let that build up and you've got 32 people all doing it I think I worked out you can get in one tournament about 50,000 rushing yards so you do two three of them a day Maybe you get 150,000 rushing yards. It's a it's a no-brainer. You could quickly. I know it doesn't practically it works like that, but you can churn through it and get it. Hopefully, really quickly. I think we're on about we've just gone over the 400k mark. So still a long way to go, but worth it to get the best halfback in the game for free. Seems fairly obvious. So hopefully that's cleared that up. Um, so. I, my advice is if you sort of saw the bow and thought he looks good I'm gonna go for him by all means but I, I don't think he's worth the amount of coins it's gonna cost you to get him um, go and check out Mutthead if you want to do the comparison tool which I found it really useful recently and I think that is it so hopefully um, I've got a pack opening um, pro pack opening coming soon hopefully we can pull some decent stuff in that because my pack opening has been absolutely bilge of late um, so I think that's it ladies and gentlemen, thank you once again and uh, see you in the next video, cheers, bye!